Uh, I'm Gabriel from uh, the University of Ghent, and this is Peter Jan and Heidi. We're uh, the three of us part of the lab that study uh, locomotion for robots and uh, machine learning for locomotion, and especially with compliant robots. So, what is a compliant robot? Uh, basically, what we mean by compliancy is having some parts like with springs or deformable or soft parts in a robot. And so why are we doing that? It's just because it makes locomotion and any robotic task more efficient, but it's really difficult to control. That's why we need some new techniques like neural networks to control robots and so on. So what we are trying to achieve here, uh, we have a first robot that uses passive compliant parts and we try to make it learn how to walk. So the way it works is like it's learning and simulation and then we apply the, so the software while well, we push it back in the robot and we see what it gives in the real world. You can show an example yeah. maybe. So this is for example a gate that has been found in simulation and reproduced then in the real world by the robot. And we can uh, by that show transfer learning from the simulation to the real robot. Except that in this robot, we still have lots of rigid parts, so we want it to move forward, and that's the work of Peter Pan and Vicky here. And we have I've moved to this kind of robot with a compliant and deformable spinal cord. Uh, it's not ready totally yet, uh, it's in progress, but we still have, we already have some results about it. Uh, the thing is, like uh, with this robot, uh, with the legs, they don't have any retraction. So, but now we have like uh, modeled this with respect to a cat, and now th these have like loaded with retraction where they can actually walk. So uh, the legs have been like modeled with the along the bones of a cat. Like this is the femur, this is the tibia, this is like the metatarsal of the cat, and we have like added compliant things so that it can like adapt with the uh, with the surroundings and all and the spine has been made by him. Uh, I'm going to also show you the models. Like this was a previous model. Uh, this is like uh, with the Janssen mechanism. You can also like attach it here and also test with this one. But uh, we, we, uh, we have found like this like to be much more compliant than that one. So we are using this one. Yeah. And about the spine. This one yeah, so also the spine in uh, this robot is like uh, made actuated. So instead of having a passive spine that's just flexing, the spine can actually, uh, the spine can actually uh, retract. And uh, so it sh if you can show like a demo of the legs, it's also based on a, a cheetah, so based on a... Like, So, so here you will see only the legs moving uh, and with this kind of closed loop legs you can achieve better uh, well and this is the spine demo where you can see the flexion of the spine. So I guess that's it, there is still a lot of work to do, uh, it's a research in progress uh, report and funded by the Human Brain Project that studied the brain, uh, the human brain in general. And saying that locomotion is just one task of the brain where we want to, to go to.